Royal Navy has ordered an investigation into allegations of sexual abuse, bullying and harassment against female officers. The claims include the creation of a list detailing the order in which female crew would be assaulted in a catastrophic event. First Sea Lord Admiral Key says anyone found culpable of the abuse will be held accountable. Sophie Brooke joined the Navy for adventure, excitement and responsibility. But the reality, she says, couldn't have been further from that, claiming she was bullied, harassed and even sexually assaulted. While well, I was asleep um, in my bed and the first thing um, that I sort of woke up to was like a bit of a um, fumble that was going on as um, a officer senior to myself was trying to get into my bed um, and kissing me and um, I mean I pushed him off and said no that's no and um, to be fair he did immediately um, back off when I said no but um, I was pretty shocked to find him getting into my bed um, in the first place. Sophie says the abuse was constant and came from the top down and that her name was on a list compiled by male colleagues, ranking women in the order they'd be raped if there was a catastrophic event at sea. Eventually, it got too much. I'd said a number of times um, to various people, you know, I, I, I'd rather be dead than going on this patrol. I knew I couldn't cope, I knew I couldn't do it, and I slammed my arm in the door um, to try to break it because I, I knew I wasn't going to cope on that boat. I was self-harming um, to the point of needing stitches. The claims have prompted the head of the Navy to launch an investigation. Admiral Sir Ben Key writing on Twitter, these allegations are abhorrent. Sexual assault and harassment has no place in the Royal Navy and will not be tolerated. I have directed my senior team to investigate these allegations thoroughly. Anyone who is found culpable will be held accountable for their actions, regardless of their rank or status. But the scandals also led to calls for an independent inquiry, something even those who have served in the Navy admit may be needed. Let's see how the Navy does. If it doesn't do well uh, in relation to this, in weighing the evidence and prosecuting the people concerned, that's absolutely essential. Uh, then we need to go for an independent review. And the abuse, it's claimed, is nothing new, allegedly going on for more than a decade, since 2011, when a ban on female recruits on submarines was lifted. We assisted a, a woman whose complaint was only resolved this year. Uh, she made her complaint in 2017. And the kinds of things she was complaining out were ve about were very, very similar. Really, really nasty, pernicious, endemic sexual harassment. Nowhere for her to go. Every time she tried to raise it through her chain of command, she was blocked. And actually, she was seen as the problem. But a wider problem has now been acknowledged by the Ministry of Defence, which said it's improving reporting mechanisms for sexual offences. It also accepted that more needs to be done.